Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and this is the Conservative New Media Auto Report, and you know I love the autos, and you know that we've covered everything from BMW to Bentley and everything in between, and we love all the hot cars, and I'm bringing you breaking news about one of the hottest cars on the planet. It's the Bugatti Veyron. Now this thing, whether it's a 16.4, whether it's the Super Sports, the Grand Sport, they've all been at the top of the heap in terms of performance, exclusivity, the whole situation, straight line speed. But now they're announcing that the new one that's going to come out around 2014, and this is VW Volkswagen, is the group that owns Bugatti, that they are basically going to do a car that is going to top 270 miles per hour. Yes, this thing is going to be faster than some planes, okay? Right, you know, private little small planes. This thing is going to be unbelievable. Now, you may say, well, why do they need that kind of speed? Because they can do it. And I love it, and I love the firepower. It's, we're going to be talking about 1,200 plus horsepower. You've got, you've got the quad turbo, 8 liter W16 in there. It's super firepower. You're talking about 0 to 60 or 62, and I, I got double checked in 2.5 seconds. Now, one of the questions that I have is what about the tires? Because a lot of the tires, well, they get just maxed out. And I thought that the limit had been already met. So now, are they going to extend it further? Do they have to develop special tire system? We're talking about all kinds of technology. Now, remember that even though these, these cars are like 1.6 million, whatever, and they're super limited edition, that's if you can get your hands on one, and that's if there is an additional markup on that. But the thing of it is, is they, because this is a quote unquote halo type of car, meaning that it basically is such a brand status for the entire brand uh, out there that it, it, you know, it conveys that. And also it's an R&D laboratory pretty much that actually VW loses a good bit of money on each one of these cars even though they're priced at that high level. I want to know how awesome do you think this car is? Are you excited about it? Would you want to get one? And what do you think that the final stats of this car are going to be and will we see additional limits. What do you think the upper limits of actual ground speed travel is for most production cars? You tell me what's up. This is the Bugatti Veyron. It's coming out in 2014 and it looks to break all kinds of records and retain the status as the fastest production car on the planet. Reporting for Concerned New Media, I am John D. Villarreal. We love the Bugatti and we love automobiles. We'll see you next time.